erosion's been going over ever since the earth started, so and all our soils are a result of erosion processes. So all the stuff now we see as production or productive land is what we've inherited, if you like, from previous erosion events. And we can't actually sit down and stop it now because what do we require for the future? Anything we do, and it doesn't matter whether it's even under, say, the Lamington uh, National Park in Queensland that have all the birds sifting everything down the hill, so there's erosion occurring there because it's been moved down the hill. Here we've got landslips as our form of landforming process, and so they're a form of erosion. Um, we do have to live with them because in the stress lackeys and in the Otways, the landslips uh, are what actually was around even before the trees were cleared. So we may have exacerbated a bit. What we have to do now is to manage potential with the production potential. And the secret is, and we haven't really got there yet, is to make sure that they interweave. And interweaving is what we're on about. We can't look at one landslip at a time because there's too many of them. We'd really have to uh, actually do it as a total process across the, uh, the entire stress leckies or the entire Otways. And we really do need some powerful people to come in who have the knowledge and the time and a bit of money to actually say, what is the primary cause? What are the mechanisms that's happening? Um, where can we intervene? What's the damage that it's currently caused to production, to uh, the environment? and to all our waterways too, because I think that's the issue. We've got to maintain production at the same time, of not, of not damaging our environmental runoff. This is a bit of a, a confusing area for pedologists, people who actually study the profile of soils, because the landslip history over two million years or so has mixed up all our soils, and you can see what, from what we saw at Thomas's that everything's been churned, so the bee horizon on the surface in some places, and there's rocks mixed everywhere. And what's happening is that we have a a very strange conglomerate of soil types here and mixes. I, we're not going to put them back together, so it's a bit like saying our production is fixed by the mixed soils anyway. What we seem to be more worried about is the consequence, the two consequences. One is the aesthetic consequence, because farmers hate to have their property looking pretty bad with these big scarps. The second thing is the ability of those to lead to erosion to get into the waterways, to get into the um, the main water supply system. So I think farming probably has to be adjusted just a little bit, but it's only to be strategically smarter about how to deal with water.